Zion Williamson missed all of last year. It's just great when the best players are available and to think what New Orleans did without him is remarkable. Yeah, and you know, we talked about the first quarter struggles and more so it's the energy level or lack thereof a lot of times by the Clippers. And there's a lot of energy right there. Now, the challenge is you, you keep backing up, Zion is going to come right at you. And that's what he did right there to Big Zoo inside. And then Zoo on the other side gets those two right back for the two teams. Has 36 points in his last two games at just 11 in the first two. And 21 against Golden State. And Zion setting the table. And speaking of which. Great defense by Zoo. Nice pass by Williamson. They go right back to work. Zion secretly covered by Zoo. Zoo's not weak. George spoon feeds Zoo. Surrounded by defenders, a patient attack for if he's It's not going to last much no. longer. We just well, we wanted to last this after game. afternoon. Definitely. Live ball turnovers, a point of emphasis for yeah. the Clippers. There's one right there, and Murphy with the finish. Terrence Mann goes out with four rebounds in seven minutes. Clippers get a deflection, a turnover, and George once again runs the break. Centers it to Jackson, skates down the lane, bumping into his defender off the window. No, follows his bench. Oh, wow, what a play by Reggie Jackson. Has been terrific. If people wondered, did he still have it? Well, the answer is yes. I'll give you some numbers a little bit later. Paul George, oh, elevates, and we have a liftoff here in down. Only three turnovers, and if you have followed the team in this young season, you know that is a headline. They've also forced three for New Orleans. We talked about C.J. McCullough. A gold medal goes to Tom Walk on that play. Powell curling, catching, and connecting. He said when he gets out of his slump, expect an avalanche. Knocks down the tray. 27-18, Clippers out in front. Alvarado zigs and zags his way down the lane. No, but there is Nance showing off that athleticism with the ferocious follow for New Orleans. 27-20. Clippers out in front after the rebound. Wall fakes to his right, drives to his left, and finishes at the rim. Clippers can push. They've got numbers. Powell tries to feed the coffee. Good defense by Graham. Zion alone. And flushes it home. A running rebound for Luke Kennard. And now Reggie Jackson controls. Powell, a quick catch and shoot three. Maybe the avalanche is beginning to build up a little more. I got your back, Straight Parker. away, but the Clippers lead by nine. Devontae Graham hands it off to Valanchunas. This is where he crushed the Clippers last year. I'll bring it up again. Here for efforts. Valanchunas winds up on his wallet. Here come the Clippers looking to push. Powell down the lane. Wraps it around to Coffee for the flush. Powell. Marcus Morris, who was the first player in double figures, and continues to smolder. I'll tell you what, he is 5 for 7. Pelican shooting only 38%. Clippers at 47%, but it's only a four-point affair. Marshall in the corner for three. The Clippers have taken 17, have only made five. Wall, tough shot. May have been blocked. It's recovered inside by man. They find a wide open. Paul George finds the seams, checks the commissioner's signature. <laughs> New Orleans run. McCullum disappears behind the Williamson screen, and now he retaliates. The last three buckets have been triples. Man tries to take Zion off the dribble, wrapped up by Larry Nance. Wow, what a defensive play with a minute to play in this first half. McCullum, and he gives the Pelicans the lead. Get that little step back right by the box. Morris, back to man, double clutcher, draws the foul, counted and sent him to the line. Zion Williamson with a rebound, his sixth, the multitasking line for Zion Williamson, seven points, six rebounds, and five helpers. Zion down the lane, a whistle and a foul, and give him one more on the house. Reverse the course of what their goals were going forward as far as the rebuild, that's when they shut him down. That's the first bucket of the year for Jackson Hayes, and it's an impressive one. The dribble and now goes to work. Accelerates down the lane, finds Powell, back in the lineup, four to shoot, tough shot, tough for whom? Norman Powell with 12. George goes to work on Marshall, ball fake, surrounded by the long arms of Valanchunas, some way, somehow able to lay it up and lay it in. A little soft touch, little spin, able to negotiate his way forward, two inside. 
Zion. A lot of momentum, a lot of elevation, and a feathery touch around the rim. Developed that mid-range and long-range shot. That was the exact plan of yep. attack for the Clippers. Get him moving, and it's very difficult to slow down, as we've seen here this afternoon. Great McCullough back the other way for three, rips the court. Moves to his left and gives to Murphy. Accelerates from the line to the lane, wraps it right back around to Zion Williamson for the lay-in. 14 for Zion. Murphy, baseline drive. McCullum for the deep three. I thought the jinx was going to... Business end of a 37-18 to 18 run for New Orleans, dating back to the second quarter. Jackson misses the three, gets his own rebound. Nothing but blue jerseys inside, undaunted, lays it in for his second buck. Played very well in that starting role, and really of late. Jackson all alone for three. It is good, and Reggie Jackson trying to take over this third quarter. He has nine overall. When leading by 10 or more, the Pelicans 0 and 2 when they trail by 10. Morris for three. It's short. Right place, right time for George. Bouncing into defender. Gets a friendly roll and it settles in. Pelicans just one for their last eight. McCullum mm, knocks it down. Make it two for their last nine. Their 13th. McCullum tries to make him pay in transition. Horseshoes off the iron. Murphy with a high rise rebound and an acrobatic finish. 68 to 63. Deep defensive stance for Morris. Tries to stay in front of McCollum. Spinning, fading, firing, and filling it up. It's going to be a process. I, I really don't think you're going to see the true brand of this Clipper basketball until the new year. Maybe shortly later. I mean, it's just going to take a while for it. Pelicans. The 13th foul. Clippers have one more to give. So two to the Pelicans. Lob to Zion. Hovers above the cup and smashes it in. It's a 10-point... A lot of time remains in this game, but the offense has been short here in this third quarter. Powell standing on the three-point line, knocks down the long two. Room to take off. One toe spin to the baseline for Williamson. Comes up on the same side and lays it in. Power and finesse from Zion Williamson. 78-67, team with the ball is a team with the lead. Williamson trying to post on Batum. Works it again, cross court to Graham. Holds the finish and knocks it down. Devontae Graham with his second bucket. He has six points. Since the Clippers led back in the second quarter by 11. Williamson blocked, recovers, and lays it in. Zion Williamson, 21, 10, and 7. Williamson. Tries to get around Kennard. Now they work it back out to Marshall for the three. Zone defense, you're just covering areas. And the quick passing gave up that open three. Powell for three. It's good. Yeah, he called it early. You know, I wish he would have been the shooting foul, of course. Wall gets into the rim nevertheless. Alan Schoen is posting on Kennard. Gets some help from George. They work it back to Graham for a contested three off the window and in. You do everything right sometimes defensively. They've been able to do that when they get into the quick offense off of stops, out in transition or their secondary break. McCullum, too easy to the rim, and CJ McCullum now with 20. Norman Powell. Kennard steps inside from 20, and the Pelicans. Yeah, that's that product getting your eyes, man. You can't see. <laughs> oh, there we go. For three. 92 to 77. Rekindle that defensive spirit. McCullum. Murphy for the three. For fighting and pawing their way. Well, they were terrific. Yep. Marshall will take it to the house. And an exclamation mark here for the Pelicans. Tyloo has seen enough. Necessarily the most efficient 12 minutes, but they looked good. You could just tell that they were into the game. They found a rhythm. They led 36 to 25 midway through the second quarter. <laughs> And again, give credit to the Pelicans. No Brandon Ingram on the road. No Herb Jones, a noted defender. It's been very tough here this afternoon. Good shot there by Amir Khan. And the rest of the series that we will play against the Pelicans. But this is a this is a really a, a great roster, great talent, and as we learned last year, great coaching on the sideline as well. Clippers are going to fall to two and four. Clippers haven't won since their game in the Capital City against the Kings.